do the work only you can do, it is humbling and appropriate that a lot of the work we can do can easily be done by others. Somebody has to do it, and it's only fair that we do our share of some of the maintenance work necessary to keep the whole human experience going. But if you incarnated to fulfill a unique mission, then you must give that mission priority. If the creative muse wants to work through you, then you must do what is necessary to make that happen. On a more personal level, we may be here to work with particular people and have significant relationships. In such cases, only you can be the particular friend, spiritual ally, parent, teacher, etc. to some other specific person. There is also unique work you must do for yourself. Only you can work on your relationship to yourself, writing your journal, be fully responsible for your health, be the father or mother to your children, and so forth. For example, I was an unusually popular with kids school teacher for 14 years and taught them in unique ways. My mother often told me that teaching is considered the greatest art in the Jewish tradition, and everyone in my nuclear family was a teacher for a major part of their working career, or all of it in the case of my sister. I would never stop being a teacher and mentor in an official capacity, but while someone else could fill my spot as a public school teacher, only I could write my writings, which could also be considered a form of teaching, so I have to prioritize that vocation over any other. Prioritize doing the work only you can do.